It is relatively rare for political spokespeople to emerge from the shadows of their masters. Such larger-than-life figures do emerge from time to time to become household names in their own right. In Britain, there was Bernard Ingram, who was Margaret Thatcher's spokesman, and Alistair Campbell, who was Director of Publicity, during Tony Blair's three terms as Prime Minister. Here in Ireland, there was PJ Mara. Mara had a humble upbringing. Born in Drumcondra, he was the son of a Gorda, who died when he was seven. His early career was in the fashion business, and later he ran his own carpet company. It failed, lumbering him with large debts. Mara's family were strong Fianna Fáil loyalists, and he himself was a party activist from a very young age. At a very early stage, he aligned himself to Charles Hawhey. During Hawhey's wilderness years after the arms trial in the 1970s, it was Mara who travelled the length and breadth of the country with him to meet with local common on the so-called chicken and chips circuit. He was a senator for a short period in the early 1980s, but found his true mate here when he became Hawhey's press officer in 1984. Mara was always impeccably groomed and cultivated an image of being an urbane boulevardier It was backed up by a larger-than-life personality. He was erudite, learned, witty, and a superb raconteur. He was also fluent in Irish and extraordinarily well-read. To that end, he was a very effective foil for the mercurial and fearsome Hawhey. Morris' humour was also of great assistance to Fianna Fáil under Hawhey's leadership. While at the same time he gilded his leader's fearsome reputation, there were copious references to him as Caudillo or El Diablo. That informal style rebounded on him when Hahi moved against his arch-rival Desmond O'Malley. Mara came into the briefing room saying facetiously, Uno duce, uno voce. He also said there would be no nibbling at my leader's bum, before goose-stepping up and down the political correspondence room. When that was reported straight by Geraldine Kennedy, Hahi hit the roof. Mara remained loyal and defended Hahi and others in Fianna Fáil steadfastly to the bitter end. They included Ray Burke and Bertie Ahern. This often flew directly in the face of overwhelming evidence of corruption and graft. He himself was criticised by a tribunal for holding an offshore account in the Isle of Man. He forged a late second career in business with Dennis O'Brien's Digicel. He also stayed active within Fianna Fáil and was its director of election under Bertie Ahern. He was a very good strategist and was responsible for the decision to minimise the number of candidates in order to maximise the seat bounce the party might have. The strategy worked really well in 2002. He remained loyal to the party until the end. He chaired the party's electoral campaign committee in 2011, even though the party was facing meltdown. He was also involved, on and off, in the party's efforts to revive its fortunes in recent years.